Today is Making Life Beautiful Day. The goal of this day is to make a beautiful contribution to your community. This can be done by creating beautiful artwork, sharing a beautiful story, or inspiring beauty in others. So what will you be doing today? And for gadgets and gizmos, Balmuda has created a new toaster that toasts bread using steam, superheated steam envelops the slice of bread, slightly toasting the surface while keeping the interior moist and fluffy. Before toasting, the user adds a bit of water to the reservoir and then chooses between sandwich mode, pizza mode, pastry mode, or other toasting options. Sounds interesting. And you are what you eat. Travel to Cajun country in Louisiana and you're bound to find boudin, local sausage made from ground pork, rice, and a mixture of spices. The food has roots with Acadians, French immigrants who settled in Nova Scotia, which during the 1600s was known as Acadia. Around 1755, the British expelled the French from Acadia after they refused to pledge allegiance to the King of England. Many Acadians ended up in Louisiana. In fact, the word Acadians or Cadians evolved into the term Cajun. French cooking traditions blended with other local flavors to create Louisiana's famous boudin. <laughs> and here's a who said so. The comedic Italian actor said, I think that sometimes only comedians can teach the peaks of tragedy. So who said that? Let's see. It was Robert Ben Benigni. Robert Benigni. I don't know if anyone knows who that is. That is who said so. And on this date, 1509, King Henry VIII of England married Catherine of Aragon, the first of his six wives. When Catherine failed to produce a son, uh, Henry divorced her against the will of the Catholic Church, thus initiating the Protestant Reformation in England. So if you want to know a little bit more of, uh, about King Henry VIII, I uh, invite you to watch The Tudors. You can, you can find it on Netflix. The Tudors are is an excellent um, history on King Henry VIII. And in 1770, British explorer James Cook became the first European to discover the Great Barrier Reef, located off northeastern coast of Australia. And in 1959, the first hovercraft was launched of England's southern coast. Hovercrafts are still used to transport people and vehicles across the English Channel but are also used for many other purposes throughout the world. And a ditty to remember. We're just talking about King Henry VIII. It says, the various fates of King Henry VIII's wives. Divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, and survived. Very interesting. All of King Henry's wife's fate. So like I said, if you want to watch the Tudors, you can catch it on Netflix. And for the quote of the day, you can no more win a war than you can win an earthquake. Jeanette Rankin said that. Happy birthday. Today happens to be Jeanette Rankin's birthday. She was born in 1880 and passed away in 1973. She was the first woman elected to federal office in the United States. The politician, suffragist, and pacifist served as a congressional representative from Montana, the state she grew up in. She served one term from 1917 to 1919, but after spending the next few decades promoting world peace, equality, child labor, protections, and voting rights, she was elected to Congress again, again in 1940. After her second term, Rankin continued her activism for the remainder of her life. And in 1993, her legacy was honored by her induction 
into the National Women's Hall of Fame. Wow. Incredible woman. And that was the Daily Chronicle. And now for the special days, because every day we have a special day. And today on the 11th, we have first Triple Crown Winner Day. After winning the Belmont Stakes, Sir Barton was the first horse to win the Triple Crown in 1919. We also have a happy birthday. Oh, Joe Montana. NFL quarterback Joe Montana was born on this day in 1956. He is a three-time Super Bowl MVP award winner. We also have anniversary of American Idol. Oh my god, that was one of my favorite shows. American Idol premiered on this day in 2002. We also have Underwater Adventures Day. Jacques Cousteau. French explorer of the oceans, filmmaker, and author was born on this day in 1910. And lastly, we have German Chocolate Cake Day. Wow, that sounds yummy. It says, if you love German chocolate cake, then here's a recipe. If you are not able to bake German chocolate cake or find it at a local grocery store, then serve chocolate cake. Oh my God, I wish Paige was here so she can bake it. She loves to bake. Maybe she can bake German chocolate cake for us. All right, everyone. So that was the Daily Chronicles and the special days. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.